Hello guys and welcome to another video from Production Music Live. Here we're going to take a look at uh, very cool free contact libraries. All of these we will be able to find in the link below the video and some of these are really cool. I prepared a special uh, little composition for you. All of the instruments I used uh, in this little track are freebies. And before we get into the specifics of all of these cool sounds, let me just play this short track. It's just over one minute long. Let's just play it. Okay, so that's my little composition. I was trying to make a little film soundtrack with just free instruments. Uh, you guys should decide how good this is. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way. And let's just get started. Let's just uh, go through all of these instruments. Basically, there's five main sources of these free sounds. Uh, and I think the most important thing, probably the thing that's most useful is the free orchestra. I spent actually a lot of time researching this and I found this amazing free orchestra. I think it's the best one out there. It's called Alpine, uh, the Alpine project. Let me just open this up. Okay, so here we have a violin ensemble patch from the Alpine orchestra. In the link below the video, you'll find the link to the Alpine project website. These guys, uh, or maybe that's just one guy, he makes these brass patches, strings patches and woodwinds. And here we have a violin, viola, cello, and bass. That's a full quartet of uh, strings playing. Let me just solo this part. I would say it sounds pretty cool. I used the ensemble patches, of course, for these. Um, so these are not single violins, these are a few violins playing together um, and that creates this bigger sound. Velocity sensitive, so you're going to have to use the mod wheel. You could try to use the mod wheel to add dynamics to your strings, but I actually in this case used a single utility on top of all these on the group and just automated the gain for additional dynamics. Um, okay, so these are the string patches from Alpine Project. Uh, I also have some brass instrument from this guy playing here. This is the brass section. I have a horn, tenor trombone and a bass trombone. Let me just play you this part. You can hear some dynamics from this group. I think this is because the mod wheel uh, is being automated. Let me just show you what the automation looks like. Yes, I, I think I just automated the um, all these parts directly from the mod wheel on my MIDI keyboard. Some of these patches are really uh, expressive. I would say the horn patches re respond really great to, uh, to the mod wheel. So make sure to use that if you uh, want to use the brass section, which sounds pretty cool. If we're talking about brass, it's kind of important to notice that there's the trombone playing here. Uh, we have this instrument, which is from Ivy Audio. Let's say this is our second source of free samples. Uh, let me just open this up. I'll show you what the trombone sounds like here. Uh, 
and it pretty much repeats. Uh, this trombone is really cool. Um, it's very dynamic as well. It's got a pretty wide range uh, of notes, so you can play these low notes and very high expressive notes. Mm, I really recommend this sound. Uh, okay, so we're talking about IV Audio, which is our second source of free samples. These guys also made this amazing vocal library, which is the Claire Solo. Uh, let me just solo this and I'll show you this amazing thing. It's really beautiful, you have to admit. Um, this is one of my favorite vocal libraries, actually. Uh, I love the legato. I'm not a very, very big fan of the dynamics here, of the modular response, but I love the sound and I love how the legato works. Um, the reverb is really nice here. Um, only thing is that some, sometimes the vocal responds kind of slowly, so you could try to offset these notes a bit to the left uh, in order for the notes to hit exactly on time. You can see that I kind of kind of did this uh, instead of uh, putting the notes exactly on the grid when I want them to hit. It's just to, I kind of had to adjust each note individually, uh, but it works. If you just mess around with it, it's a really cool vocal library. Uh, where we were talking about IV Audio. I have some acoustic drums here from IV Audio as well. These guys made a drum kit, which is called Scott Drums. Uh, I think I have just the hi-hat here, but I also have a snare roll playing somewhere. Uh, this is a simple hi-hat. But it's really nice and velocity sensitive, so if you hit the notes harder, the timbre of the hi-hat is going to change. And the same thing with all the other drum hits, so that's really cool. Then you have some other hi-hats as well. Really nice sound, and then I think I have a snare roll here playing. Really nice, I uh, love this little library. Let me just uh, go through all of the instruments from the beginning. So I th at first we have a classical guitar playing, and this is a guitar from uh, Petten House Audio, and these guys make uh, amazing classical guitar and uh, acoustic guitar patches. There's also, I think, uh, an electric guitar. And this one is the classical guitar. And uh, let me just solo this, it's really beautiful. Gotta love this little freebie from Petten House Audio. And then we have a bassoon playing. Well, the bassoon is from uh, the Woodwinds uh, in the Alpine project. Yeah, I use the gain knob probably to just add a little bit of Volume automation, but then I think I'm automating the pitch bend. Or sorry, I'm automating the modulation uh, with the mod wheel. Okay, so that's these two. Let me just uh, show you the harp. Okay, so the harp is actually from another guy, which is uh, calls himself Big Cat. This guy, Big Cat, has made a lot of free libraries. I have all of them uh, listed here. Some of these don't really, um, I don't find these very useful, but uh, some of these are really great. For example, this little harp, let me just show you this part. Amazing. I use the arpeggiator for, uh, for this part, just play the chord and then adjusted the rate, uh, a few steps for the arpeggiator to go up a few octaves. Uh, amazing, added reverb, really beautiful sound. Okay, pizzicato strings. This is also from uh, Big Cat Instruments. And this guy made a really awesome pizzicato strings uh, sound. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna sound awesome, but believe me, let's, let me just play this. I'm not sure if the stereo image is all right on this uh, pizzicato strings. Maybe it's uh, a bit too mono but it sounds really nice and it's really velocity responsive so you can play it well with uh, with your MIDI keyboard. It's pretty awesome, I love the sound. Tubular bell, this is uh, another cool sound from Big Cat. Again, doesn't look 
really promising, but the, the sound is really nice. And these bells are actually tonal, so if you play this bell one octave lower, it's gonna also give you a, a lower tone. Really nice patch here, and then we have some Rhodes piano, I think also from the same guy. It's called Street Bumper, sounds really awesome. Yeah, I have it just panned to the right a bit, but it sounds really nice. The mm, Some of the effects here are really cool. The tremolo is dope. Yes, uh, there's a beautiful toy piano. I don't know what Beksha means, but uh, for sure this sounds awesome. Let me just play this. And I didn't even need uh, additional reverb on this because this already has built-in reverb. Sounds really great. Let me just show you the grand piano. So this library is made by Ivy Audio as well. And these guys made a mm, really good uh, grand piano instrument. And you have actually two mic options. So close mic, ambient mic. You can adjust the levels and it sounds really beautiful. Let me just show you this little part that I wrote here. Yes, I just wanted to play simple octaves to uh, match the melody. Okay, next thing, we have a, an acoustic bass, also from Big Cat Instruments, uh, the, the default layout here, but sounds really nice. Uh, let me just play this. You don't really have to do anything to this patch. There's reverb, but who uses reverb on a on an acoustic bass. Um, drums, okay, so we went through drums and we also have a bass drum from Big Cat Instruments. Uh, this is pretty awesome. A very simple bass drum sample, but mapped in a cool way in contact so that, uh, let me just play how this sounds. Yeah, especially if you play these multiple notes at once. Um, it sounds really nice. Uh, you can actually, it's very velocity responsive, right? So I think I drew this in command B and uh, I just drew in the velocity. It made a really cool transition to this next section. Yeah, I think these are all the instruments uh, I've used in this project, but the article on our website includes a lot more stuff. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, let me know if you guys like this type of content with freebies. And for even more stuff, uh, check out the other video I did on contact libraries. I think this uh, other one includes also some stuff from Native Instruments and probably some uh, other cool pianos. But for today, I think that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Bye-bye. Uh,